it's truly unfortunate that uh, we are dividing the human species on gender bias. But it might have become necessary now because of centuries of exploitation that's been heaped up on the woman in different societies, in different forms, because we created very exploitative societies. When human societies are fashioned like this, naturally the male will rule. When strife is the way of the human society, naturally the male will rule simply because of the physical prowess of the masculine. A society can be created on equal keel only when we establish a certain stability in the social structure, when survival is not the pinnacle of life. Survival is just a small part of our life. Only when civilizations are well established in a way where art, music, aesthetics are as important as economics, defense and other aspects which rule the society today, only then a woman will find her rightful place in a society. As masculine brings one type of value to human life, feminine brings another type of value to our lives. Unless we are able to see that both these values are equally important in our lives, there will be no true equality or justice or you cannot say a civilization exists. So if intelligence, sensitivity, perception are the most valued aspects of life, then only gender equality will come. What is needed now is to bring to the awareness of the masculine that feminine is an equally important part of life. The media, education systems and other social setups must strive to do this, that our lives will not be beautiful just because we make so much money, just because we build this or that. Our lives have to become beautiful means the feminine. The aspect of the feminine has to be around us, only then everything will be beautiful. What we refer to as masculine and feminine are two fundamental qualities in nature. It's got nothing to do with the gender. There may be men who embody the feminine qualities much more than most women. There may be women who embody the masculine much better than most men. It is important that a society begins to recognize this, that one's body may be either female or male, but one's quality may be feminine or masculine or a combination of both. This is a nation, this is a culture where inward looking is one of the most significant aspects of our lives. Because of this inward looking, if you look inward deep enough, you will see you, every individual, whether you are in a male body or in a female body, the masculine and the feminine exist in equal proportions within you. And hence, even our gods are represented like this, Shiva, is shown as the Ardhanari, he's a half man, half woman. But I think it's time we name this day as the day of the feminine rather than women's day.
because it's important that the feminine comes forth and plays in the world. So, on this day of the feminine, I am taking the liberty of renaming it. Instead of being a woman's day, let this be a day of the feminine. This is a culture which has worshipped the feminine for thousands of years. It is important that we must bring that spiritual ethos in our cultures where every human being, his life and his experience of life is not limited to the physical body. He sees life as something more than the physical. He experiences life beyond the physicality of who he is because the gender is of the physical nature. If your experience is beyond the physical nature, gender will be just a minor issue in your life. There are many, many things or many, many levels in which the exploitation of the women has to be stopped. By law, I think generally we've stopped it, but in reality, in social reality is yet to happen. So it doesn't really need a fight on the street, it needs a proper enforcement of law. But if a proper enforcement of law has to happen, a conducive social situation has to happen. And that conducive social situation is not going to happen unless there is widespread dissemination of knowledge in the form of education and the economic possibility. If these two things happen, I don't think women will have to fight for their freedom, they will be free anyway. <laughs>